Hello folks and welcome to another episode of State by State by the Clinton Public Library. I am Cassie, your host, and today our state is Iowa. Iowa was made a state on December 27th, 1846, which made it the 29th state of the Union. It covers an area of about 55,800 square miles. The highest elevation is Hawkeye Point at 1,671 feet above sea level, and the lowest elevation being the confluence of the Mississippi and Des Moines rivers at 480 feet below sea, 480 feet above sea level. The capital of Iowa is Des Moines. I apologize if I pronounce it wrong, but that's how I've always pronounced it. This is the flag of the state of Iowa. It was adopted on March 29, 1921, and it was designed by Dixie Cornell Gebhardt. As you can see, it is uh, very similar to the flag of France, which reflects the state's history as being part of the French Louisiana Territory. In the middle of the flag is a bald eagle with a long ribbon reading, Our Liberties We Prize and Our Rights We Will Maintain, which is derived from the seal of Iowa. It was first approved in May 1917 by the Iowa State Council for Defense. It was designed in the same year in, by a Knoxville, Iowa resident, Dixie Cornell Gephardt, of the Daughters of the American Revolution of Iowa. It was then adopted by the state legislature in 1921. The state bird of Iowa is the American goldfinch. Now it's very easy to tell a male goldfinch from a female goldfinch because they have a very uh, distinct sexual dimorphism. The males are the bright, bright, bright yellow color in summer, and they turn an olive color in the winter. But the female is a dull yellow-brown shade, which brightens only a little bit during the year, during the summer. So those bright yellow uh, goldfinches that you see flying around sometimes, those are probably males, showing off to attract a mate. These birds average from about four inches to five inches long with a seven to eight inch wingspan and weighs less than an ounce. They are granivores, which means they eat seeds. Goldfinches are one of those birds that you quite often see uh, around bird feeders and it is very helpful for those birds survival in more um, city areas. So keep an eye on your bird feeders, you might see a goldfinch or two. The state flower of Iowa is the prairie rose or Rosa Arcan Arcansana? Arcansana, which you can see here. Uh, it's a, a very hardy rose. It forms a low shrub that provides a lot and provides a lot of color with pink white summer blossoms that are usually fragrant and in autumn the foliage turns orange red and bright red rose hips that's our seed pods can provide food for birds and wildlife into the winter they can tend to grow to about two feet high and are a perennial plant meaning that they will come back year to year it blooms from June to August. The state tree of Iowa is the burr oak, Quercus macrocarpa. And it is a oak tree that is native to North America. More specifically, it's a white oak. They are large deciduous trees growing up to uh, about 98 feet on average, but sometimes they will get bigger 
rarely over 160 feet in height. And it is one of the most massive oaks with a trunk diameter of up to 10 feet. The leaves of the tree are about two and a quarter to six inches long and two to five inches broad, uh, variable in shape with low margin. Because it is an oak, that means it produces acorns, which often are a food source for uh, wild animals. When it comes to being tolerant of planting conditions, uh, th the bur oak is among the white oaks, one of the most tolerant of uh, urban conditions. It can thrive in m many different kinds of climates and is uh, rather drought tolerant. The state rock of Iowa is the geode. A geode is a geological secondary formation within sedimentary and volcanic rocks. Basically, there are uh, hollow, vaguely spherical rocks, which masses of different mineral matter, which may include crystals, um, are secluded. The crystals are formed by uh, filling the little holes and then they become partially filled by the same and then groundwater and it's it's a very intense geological formation and you can find all sorts of crystals inside of a geode it could be anything from quartz to uh, calcite dolomite jasper amethyst just all sorts of different um, crystals can form inside of these geodes. And now we go on to the fun bits about Iowa, starting with a place close to my little trekkie heart, Riverside, Iowa, the birth, future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise, which he will be born on March 22nd, 2228 if you believe the source material. Now, how did all of this come to be, you ask? Well, back in 1960, 1985, Steve Miller, who was a Riverside Councilman, uh, made a proposal that Riverside declare itself the future birthplace because it wasn't actually said where he was or confirmed where he was, just that it was a small town in Iowa. And Steve Miller knew this because he was a Trekkie and he'd read Gene Roddenberry's book, Making of Star Trek. The motion passed unanimously. So Riverside changed its town slogan from where the best begins to where the Trek begins, changed its annual summer festival from Riverfest to Trekfest, and Miller jabbed a stick into the ground behind the town barbershop, which he owned, and declared that it was the future birth spot. There is an engraved monument at the spot, as well as a bench. In fact, uh, it was confirmed Miller's inspiration became official Star Trek canon in May 2009 when the Star Trek reboot movies, where Kirk was declared to be from Riverside. In fact, the entire city, town, whatever you want to call it, was invited to a super special secret preview of screening of the film a day before its official release, but they had to go to Iowa City to do it because that was the nearest town with a movie theater. Okay, so that's all that I'm looking up for Iowa. I want to get to the authors real quick, maybe make this a bit of a shorter video. Um, now, as a reminder, these authors were born in, raised in, or have a significant connection to the state of Iowa. We have the books listed in this video in the library in some way, shape, or form. So you might want to come by, uh, stop by the library, and pick up one of them. So here we go with the authors of Iowa.
Thanks for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed the show. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you can find out whenever we post up a new video. Uh, uh, don't forget to also check out our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We've even got a TikTok going on. So uh, look us up, Clinton Public Library. And our next video in this series is going to be on Kansas. Thanks for all wa thanks for watching y'all and we'll hope you have a nice day.